Hey guys, time to get in on the action for the biggest moments in basketball with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projections, place your entry, and win up to 100 times your money. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit of up to $100. Just download the Prize Picks app and use the code GET100. That's code GET100 on Prize Picks for a first deposit match of up to $100. Prize Picks, pick more, pick less. It's that easy. All right, you guys ready? Here we are. This is the morning show here for K92.3. You already know that, but did you know that we start every morning with the nation's song, this national anthem, and we dedicate it out to people? I probably met some of the hardest working men that I know. I had a box spring delivered to my house yesterday, and I'd like to give the national anthem out to all of the delivery drivers. Uh, The poor gentlemen, they were supposed to be at my house around 12 o'clock yesterday, didn't end up getting there until almost 6 p.m. at night. They were so kind and compassionate. They were so apologetic, and it was because the truck, whatever dirt road they were going down to deliver a bed to someone's house, ended up getting stuck and they were there for Mm. an hour and a half, put deliveries behind, and he told me they were so behind, they were going to be working until 11 p.m. last night delivering these beds to people that had ordered them. And the poor guy was sweating, he was shaking. I I felt terrible for him. I really, really did. Look at that. All these country songs about a dirt road and look what it did to the delivery guys. Oh, no. Poor guys. But they were great. They were so sweet and efficient. And again, just they I know they were stressed out, but showed up to my door with a smile on their face and really, really kind. Uh, I'm sure they appreciated your hundred dollar tip. That you left I did tip Chloe. them. Of course, I took care of my guys. <laughs> oh, you didn't man. give them a hundred, did you? I didn't give them a hundred, but I well, took care of money. Thank you to all of our delivery guys. Whether you're delivering furniture, delivering appliances, whatever it is that you're up to, especially our package delivery mm-hmm. people. You yeah. know what I mean? And sorry that not a lot of us tip. Sorry that not a lot of us even offer a water. Uh, but thank you so much <laughs> for what you do. Maybe this will turn that around. Thank you from us here at K ninety two three. K ninety two three. Do the right. In a world where you can be anything, be kind, be the light, and that's why we love to highlight, just especially with everything that is going on today, with doing the right thing. Obi, I don't know if your kids ride the bus or they have in the past. I I know I grew up riding a bus. Yeah, so did I. That situation, right? You send your kids off to get on the bus, you kiss them goodbye, and you figure everything is going to be all right. They're going to get to school. It'll work out okay. That is not what happened when a parent got a call. A quick-thinking 8th grader in Wisconsin saved the day when their bus driver had a medical emergency this week. Mm. A.C. Holland III, a Glen Hills 8th grader, noticed that the bus started to veer into the oncoming traffic. He asked the bus driver, hey, are you okay? She did not respond. He then went up to the bus driver, moved the bus driver's foot, and got the bus to stop. This is AC and his dad after calling 911 talking about this. I walked, see if she okay, and she ain't response. Her foot was still on the gas. I scooted her over, moved her foot off the gas, and I just turned the wheel and pressed the brake at the same time. First thing went through my mind is like, so wait, you drove a bus? And he, yeah, he's an ace. I just, just proud of him. I'm just glad that I was able to get everybody home safe and make sure that everybody was okay. Yes. Yes. I love this. Yes. I freaking love these kind of stories, man. What a great story. Ace. What a, oh, yeah. man. Yeah, so Ace and his dad, they own a small mechanic shop. So since Ace was only five years old, he was learning how to change out batteries, blah, 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 wow. make sure that everything is okay. And I love that the local news, right, that covered the story and everything else, their car broke down when they were doing the story on Ace. So they had to then have him jump their car so ace hooked everything Aww. up imagine being a what's that 14 years old maybe eighth grade mm-hmm. and he knew how to do stuff that some 30 40 year olds have no idea what to do do we know how the bus driver's doing the bus driver's doing okay apparently had like a mild heart attack they wow. said so Sad. is trying to heal up gonna take some time obviously before getting back on that bus yeah well okay so we pray for the bus driver what I love about Ace's story though is that if that bus driver say say nobody jumped into action yeah. that bus could have gone on into head on uh, head on collision all the kids hurt mm. driver dead I mean there, there could have been so much but because of this kid right kid right place right time and y'all this you know this actually stirs my heart to let my son who's 14 
maybe get behind the wheel just a little bit more for some practice around right. the neighborhood or something. Whatever's legal. I don't know. A cop can tell me what's legal or not. Probably not a bus. Probably, uh, <laughs> not a probably bus. driving at 14 isn't legal, Obi, but, but what I'm I saying, see what you're saying is at least understanding kid, how the car works, yeah, right? Yeah, this kid would have never known that. If K, if Ace would have never known that, he would have never been able to jump into action. Absolutely. So, yeah, wow. so a big shout out to obviously Ace's dad, but also Ace knowing that he was the man for the wow. job, saving the day for everybody Amazing. on that bus and that bus driver that today is doing the right thing. Doing the right thing. Brought to you by Renewal by Anderson Windows and Doors. For more, rbafla.com. Doing the right thing. On K92.3. Blake Shelton's on K92.3, Orlando's number one for new country. It is Obi, Chloe, Slater. Uh, the station that's going to be paying you. Yes, we've got $1,000 coming with the $1,000 Minute. 10 questions, 60 seconds. If you can do it under pressure, you could be $1,000 richer just for doing that at 710. Okay, so uh, so I wrote this down. Promiscuous professions. Because all of us were in here talking this morning before the show even started, and we were just talking about you know different jobs out there where you automatically assume that there could be infidelity sure. in these professions. Uh, okay, so hold on. Let's talk about TV really quick because TV painted the picture of things like Grey's Anatomy where in healthcare – there's always a nurse shacking up with a doctor behind the scenes. and I can tell you it's totally true. My fiance is a nurse. They have a room that it says supplies on it, but there's not supplies in there. What? No way. There's, there's not. There are surprises and so what? behind just, that door. It's just generally known it's amongst generally the staff. It's generally known that that is the room that if you are, and usually it's not with the patients, okay? So if you're thinking like that, <laughs> but it is. Seriously, it's a high. T- I think any job that is highly intense and there's a lot of emotions going on, yeah. that one I think has the same chance of like, oh, we have to release this tension, and that's that's where it's done. I think of the show Suits as well. If you've seen it, it's on Netflix. It's all about uh, following like lawyers' journeys and and whatever. And you see a lot of cases where there's infidelity throughout the show you see people hooking up with other people so i mean lawyers has got to make the list right and, and hey well and can we be fair like everybody who are gonna who's, who's on this list i mean yes there are a lot of good people out there okay i mean hey Absolutely. listen uh, uh entertainment hosts they're on the list mm-hmm. and i'm pretty faithful so not everybody's a bad right. seed so I say that because I'm about to mention one that I really, really care for. I care about our officers and deputies, but there are a lot of times where I see two officers, you know, the, the cards are side by side. And if it's a male and a female, uh, and they're chatting it up and they're going, hey, remember, sure. we're talking about high profile jobs with high tension. You hey, listen, you understand what I'm going through more than even my wife does. Wow. Boom. So I don't know I don't, how that would work because there's so many body cams and cameras on our you officers' don't think those cars. Things, you don't think those things mm. have a power button? Yeah, you shut those I up. I don't know. You know, <laughs> my head immediately goes, well, think about it. They're they're very equipped that if anything happens, right, you get the handcuffs. Huh? Oh, Lord. Huh? You got the, you got the baton? The, <laughs> huh? It is the long arm and, of the law? And we're, not, and we're not saying that every officer, and I most certainly don't want spouses of officers being like, hey, you guys. Like yeah. with the, I mean, these are real relationships. Yeah, Chloe, okay? Chloe told me you're cheating on me. Is why, this true? why? Why are you putting yeah, fingers at me? Not, okay, we're, we're not trying to go there. Okay, so can we get back to teachers, teachers and students? Oh, see, I wasn't mm. going oh. teachers and students. Mm. I would have gone teachers and, and teachers, parents. Like oh, other parents? teachers and parents shacking up? Really? Okay. I don't know. That's, I've never, that's the I've route never I would heard that. These, the, and these aren't our dreams. We're not hoping that this actually goes down. There's one that isn't on any list. I, I searched through the interwebs, but I think, for me, is the one I would be most concerned with if my spouse was a ventriloquist. Because... You have to think the oh, talent that you can do. Oh, you got your hand shoved up a puppet's rear, and then you're talking with it. <laughs> and tell me, tell as a lady, Chloe, what is more desired than somebody that's good with their hands? Oh, no. Think okay, about okay. it. Because so then that, you're hugging, please, you're kissing. That would have never made please. the list. Other things like salespeople, especially salespeople who have to you know maintain accounts and whatnot. Anyways, if we if we miss somebody on the list, and, and not that uh, this list I is, is sanctioned. Two. I didn't get to add. I would have said politics 
Um, and then hospitality. So anyone that kind of works in the restaurant industry, I think oh, that- Oh, hospitality. That sure. That, that should be, yeah. Get a little, you know, depending on your clients, depending on who you're serving. So. I was thinking the dishwashers back there because they get, <laughs> they got their hands that are all pruny and they got those gloves <laughs> on. <laughs> Slater, I, think, I think we have the wrong idea of what's sexy. Like you and I are just mean. different. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking ventriloquists and I dishwashers. Oh, you know what, right. above anything, any profession that you're in, there could be infidelity, right? Doesn't really matter hey, what you're yeah, in. Just, just be faithful and then you Absolutely. don't have to worry about anything. There you go. 100%. Um, but which country superstar was running around basically naked on stage? Stripped down to pretty much nothing. Revealing who it is in six minutes. K92.3. From backstage to the front page, it's all access. We'll talk about which one of our country artists was stripping on stage. But first, we miss Jimmy Buffett so, so much. He was one of the greatest. Um, and National Bobblehead Hall of Fame and Museum is actually continuing to honor him with the new Margaritaville Parrot Head Bobblehead. Uh, it's so cute. The parrot has a guitar in hand. It's got a Hawaiian shirt on, the swim trunks, the ball cap, um, and it's totally so Jimmy. And a portion of actually all the proceeds of this bobblehead will go to his Singing for Change Foundation. I think that's how you know you've made it. If you have a bobblehead of yourself, it's seriously. Matter, like, I know our company, I think the sales staff had some sort of a competition yeah. where it's like, you sell the most, you get a bobblehead. I think they're like 20 bucks to, to print off. But <laughs> to have one of those or like an action figure, like that's a lifelong goal for me. I try to enter a competition and they're like, you, you don't sell anything. So I wasn't See, able to even participate. We got to get this dude an action figure. Yours is bobbleheads or an action figure. Mine would be a Barbie doll. How cool. Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> you, guys are weird. you guys are some weirdos. Okay, <laughs> let, let, let's continue. <laughs> um, okay, but you can purchase them now. They're like I know what bucks. I'm getting the both of you for Christmas, there by the way. Go. There yes, are websites yes. where you can customize these things. <gasps> There you Good go. They're thirty dollars online, but again, all these uh, these <laughs> proceeds, a portion will go back into Jimmy Buffett's Singing for Change That's Foundation. Cool. Um, and Luke Holmes's tour just kicked off, and he played the biggest show of his life over the weekend in Milwaukee. Two nights, night one, he had over forty four thousand people, wow. and night two. Over 86,000 people. That is over 130,000 people in two days. Let that sink wow. in for a second. Massive, huge show. And so he's playing Friday and Saturday night in Jacksonville, and we'll see if he can break another record. Yeah, I'm glad that we're giving you tickets here at 9 o'clock. Remember to get those. I mean, that's a, that's a quick drive away to experience history. And it's, you yeah. know he'll play hit after hit after hit because he has so many number ones. Without a doubt. So I think capacity is just under 69,000 each night. So doing the math, that would be under uh, just under 140,000. He could be doing at Everbank Stadium. That is humans, crazy. Man. A lot of humans. Crazy. Um, and then lastly, Bailey Zimmerman was playing a show in Texas when he was actually forced to end his show early due to severe weather. Um, and Bailey obviously felt terrible, was super bummed about it, and didn't want to do this, but had no choice, needed to make sure everyone was safe. And he ran back out on stage, literally stripped down to his underwear. We gotta, we gotta stop. We're not allowed to go anymore. <laughs> Your boy uh, took literally. off his clothes and threw them out into the audience. Do you hear the girls going crazy over it too? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so if, they, if there's anything about shock value, right? Okay, A, it's really sucky as far as you have to tell people that the show's done. Mm -hmm. you, you can't even perform your number one hit, which you normally save for the end. But the shock value of being like, y'all, here's my underwear. Yeah, do you want that, <laughs> Chloe? Would you want? Would you want that? Not sure, the clothes. Why not? You would like. Have you would like up them there. to take the clothes off. I wouldn't mind seeing Riley Green without uh, without oh, a shirt Lord. on. Okay. <laughs> hey, you know what? The next show Riley does, you got to delay the start time, right? So then, <laughs> so then he's like, well, I saw Bailey Zimmerman do it, so here we go. I think it's funny. People go nuts at, at all of our country shows, whether Absolutely. they throw out a pick, whether they hand out a guitar or, or a cowboy hat. This dude gave his the clothes, the shirt off his back. Y'all, and the best part about this was then he went and stripped down again to his underwear at Stagecoach. So Country Thunder, he'll be here in October. Will he strip down for us? Bro, you don't, I don't know. You don't have I to guess do it here. we'll see. Mm, it's going to be real hot in October. <laughs> it is. 
over. It is over. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to strip. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so you can see all these stories up online at K923Orlando.com. We have $1,000 minute. We'll put 10 trivia questions, 60 seconds on that clock. You get it all right, you're getting hooked up with that money. And we'll give you a call next. You can sign up to play on the K923 app. Obi, Chloe, and Slater's $1,000 Minute. K92.3. Peter this morning. Thank you so much. And uh, Peter, by the way, just lives right on the outskirts of downtown Orlando in Conway Hills. Peter, how would you spend your $1,000? Oh, boy. Nice little vacation, maybe? Hey, oh, I like sweet. it. I really want this to happen then. All right. 10 <laughs> questions, 60 seconds up on the clock. Peter, because there's only 60 seconds, you could pass on any of these questions, and we'll come to it back at the end so you don't take up too much time. But whatever you lock in first is what I'll have to accept. Okay. Yeah, seriously, like if, if it doesn't come to your head, just say pass so that way we can keep it going, okay? Sure. How nervous are you? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Those nerves let you know you're alive. Here All we right. go, Obi. Clock is ready. For With sure. question number one. If Jacob always goes bowling three times per week, how many times does he bowl in 11 weeks? 33. What day does 4th of July fall on this year? On the 4th of July, on the 4th. <laughs> if someone is a sommelier, what do they do for a living? Pass. This college's mascot is a gator. Um, USF. How many inches are there in two yards? Um, pass. What is bigger, 285 or 200 plus 30 minus 5 plus 60? 285. In English, lice is the plural of what word? Life is a plural of what word? Pass. In the story about the boy who cried wolf, what was the lesson? Pass. And that's your oh. time. <laughs> Those were the toughest <laughs> questions to have heard. Words. Were they? Man. You were like, yeah, four Dude. math questions in there? <laughs> Sorry. Peter. I'm so sorry, Peter. We're right with you. Obi and I's faces are like we just licked an armpit. Yeah, That's... I'm lucky that I've squeezed by high school. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's start at the top. Uh, what date is 4th of July falling this year? I think we're looking for day of the week. Thursday was the name of that. Uh, if somebody is a sommelier, what do they do for a living? Uh, there's somebody that studies wine. You said the college mascot of a gator. You said USF. I think you meant maybe University of Florida. That's the answer there. Mm-hmm. 72 is the answer of how many inches are in two yards. And they're equal. 285 is equal to 200 plus 30 plus 560. And louse, louse. Is, is the plural yes. of lice. So you may have a lice, but you have louse in your hair? And the boy who cried wolf. Oh, I thought you... I thought you said like, okay, no worries. You're good. And the boy who cried wolf, the lesson is to always tell the truth. And now we know. Yeah. But you don't leave it's empty handed. <laughs> we do got Brooks and Dunn tickets for this weekend for you. Woohoo! Yeah, that's exciting. Woo wee. Peter, great job, man. Thank you again for doing this. And you got to tell your neighbors there in Conway Hills, we need a champion. Thanks for representing, man. Thanks so much. $1,000 minute. Let's see how you do. Join up on the K92.3 app to play. K92.3. Time to hit the panic button with Obi, Chloe, and Slater. Over in Waterford Lakes, talking to Ted. Hey, hey, guys. So here's why I'm here. Look, I, uh, I, I, I God, even talking about it makes me nervous. Um, I have a big gig, like job interview coming up, and here's the thing. I am, I am absolutely terrible in inter- interviews like i can oh. i don't know what happens but like every time i've been in like any kind of even like minor leadership position and i have to lead meetings or something like that like everybody comes up to me they're like why are you sweating so much why is your face <laughs> so red? it happens like, I, you would think that from context clues people would be like oh you're obviously nervous but i don't know why they keep coming up and pointing it out to me because that makes it worse anyway so i had a first round interview and I'm coming up on the second round interview. Okay, which, that's oh, so was, exciting. Wow, Congratulations. So the first, yeah, the first was great, huh? Um, here's the thing. On the first round interview, I had a buddy as a stand-in for me. 
like he did the interview <laughs> and I was there like sort of coaching him on what to say and stuff, but he kind of did it. Oh, oh wow. Like, like all of it. But if so, you so he got to... you the job, I mean, you have the skills for the job, right? I do. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's very okay. much in my wheelhouse. But yeah. he stood in and did the interview. Was this on zoom or was this over the phone? It was over the phone. Okay. I was going to say, because mm, right. that would have Yeah. Then they would no. look different. That's right. a good point. Yeah. All right, so I, I think you just need to muster up the courage, bro, and get in there, smile a lot. If you've got the skills to back the job. Well, not too much smiling, right? Because it make it look like he was high <laughs> on drugs. <laughs> I think you need to have more confidence in yourself because just based on what you're telling us is that you've held leadership roles before. People believe in you and know that you can do it. So what? You're sweaty. Just walking into that interview, how many people are going to be in there? You, you're figuring. I, I Probably at least three. All right. So you think... picture those three people buck naked. Huh? Oh, no. Does that no, really bro. work, though? That's not going to help this guy. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> even the guys. You look at the guy and you picture him completely because, remember, we all look the same without clothes on, right? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Let's see if we can get you some uh, replies from our listeners right now. And thank you for trusting us with this. Thanks, guys. Join the conversation. 844-254-9232. 844-254-9232. Obi, Chloe, and Slater. We got Lydia on the line. Lydia, how are you feeling about all this? Oh, my God. I have a lot to say about this. And if you're a guy, you better buckle up and listen. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Obi Slater, she's talking to you, too. I want to leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll talk to you in six minutes. K-92-3. Join the conversation with Obi, Chloe, and Slater. Lydia, you just heard our guy freaking out about the fact that he's got a real job interview. As a matter of fact, this is phase two of the interview process. Okay, I have such a bone to pick here, and this is what the problem with men today is, is they are so insecure and they can't own any of their stuff, and there has to be the substitution for everything. The fact that his friend did the interview for him he doesn't deserve this job. Oh, wow. Hey, wait, like, wait, wait, wait. You, you, you talking about like all, all us guys or just him? I no. mean, <laughs> if you can't put your big boy pants on and go to a job interview, Whoa. like I, I don't know what hope there is for you in this position. I no. think some people have really terrible interviews and end up being very great at what they do and, and in their role. It's the same thing with like taking a test. It's like you could be a straight A student, but, but flunk tests. Like you're just not good at taking yeah. them you know Could, the couldn't pressure. he just to, like pay attention to like a tony robbins like inspiring like hey take over the world thing and, and s- s- what if he watches one of those and then goes in lydia i mean that's fine own your stuff if you're a sweaty human being then be a sweaty human being don't try to hide <laughs> that just be who you are and if you can't then you need to work from home and respond as a chat box helper where you don't have to be seen or talk to people oh, okay <laughs> All right, Lydia. Hey, appreciate your take. Yeah, thanks. And Obi and I do wear our big boy pants every day. Do you? Love to hear it. Yeah, (laughs) sometimes I borrow (laughs) mine from my wife. (laughs) (laughs) Goes back. (laughs) Join the conversation. 844-254-9232. 844-254-9232. Obi, Chloe, and Slater. It's Morgan Wallen, Eric Church, K92.3 Music from the station that's going to be paying here at, at 8 o'clock. We'll give you that keyword worth $1,000, and that'll be the first time of five. So we're trying to help our guy out this morning. Um, didn't do his first interview. He actually had his buddy do his first interview and kind of step in for him and act like him. Um, which, I get a Ted, got- which I get a Ted. You, you use your boy because maybe your boy has more confidence and sounds a little more uh, authoritative over the line. Right. Well, here's the problem. Now he's on to the second round of interviews and he is not good at interviews. He sweats. He panics. He freaks out about it. And so he doesn't know what to do. There's got to be some other way than like lying, even though like yeah, to get a job, I think you have to, we've talked about it before, you put stuff on the resume that, you know, might or might not have actually happened, right? If you're in charge of it, we, we had a panic where he said it was a manager and it was over five people and instead he said it was like 50 or like 60, <laughs> yeah. right? But there's things you can do to actually psych yourself up. There's certain songs that I know for me, I listen to and I go, you know what? I'm going to conquer the world. And whenever we have any stage stuff, even though I don't get nervous doing it, 
I get really amped up even more by doing it. So that's something easy that he could do. And I think it's important to surround yourself with people. You hit it right there. You know, it doesn't make you nervous getting up on stage, but y'all know too, it's been something that I've struggled with, with standing up in front of a crowd and in front of people. And having Obi and Slater next to me hyping me up has made me feel better. And so maybe that's what he needs is really somebody to sit there with him (laughs) right before he walks in (laughs) that interview and, and, you know, hype him. Tell him he's going to do great and and really fire him up. You play jock jams right before he comes in. Hey, four four two five four nine two three two. Hey. Good morning. Hey, what's up? Who's this? Where are you from? Actually, this is Donna from Kissimmee. Hey, what's up, Donna? Hey, hey, girl. We know you. Yes, I know you guys too. So, actually, I've been a job coach in the past. So, I've taught oh. a lot of people how to go on interviews. You know, like you guys were saying, have confidence in yourself. If you practice a little bit before time, even in front of a mirror with a family member, a friend. Just go over some simple interview questions. It'll take some of that nervous energy and it'll put it in the back of your mind. But the one thing he needs to remember is if you go in there confident, hey, I'm going to conquer this interview, nine times out of ten, you blow them out of the park. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I think it's normal to have nerves, right? That just means you care and you're compassionate about whatever that may be. And so if you're somebody that's doing the interview, it's okay. They know that, you know? I I, I think he needs to come in with a gift, too. It's Ooh. very normal to have the nerves, but if they feel it, it could make the interview more intense. I love Obi's idea of bringing a gift to bribe him. What yeah, bring, you, what, bring a pizza him? pie. No, bring do not pizza. bring a pizza yeah. into you the bring, interview. Dang. You bring a pizza See, pie to me, or that's you bring worse. a bouquet. You are bouquet trying way too hard. No. Wow. Hey, oh, you're, you're bribing them from the start. He lied from the start, right? Hey, well, we appreciate a professional, so thank you so much for chiming in this morning. Uh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Ken 923, good morning. Obi, this is Kevin in celebration. Hey, right. Kevin over hey, in celebration. Good morning. Kevin, it's always a pleasure talking to you, man. What's your advice to our guy here who's nervous? Okay, I was given a medication for um, migraines, and one of the side effects is it lowers anxiety. Hmm. So they actually give it to people who have anxiety for a meeting or something like he's, he's talking about, and uh, it works. It's called propranolol. And you have to get it from a doctor, but they do treat it for anxiety situations, wow. interviews, such like that. And so what does it do? It just kind of num- numbs you up a little bit? Eases the nerves. It doesn't, it doesn't numb you. It doesn't make you high or anything like that. What it does is it calms you down. So you don't get to the, the flight or flee, you know, kind of, a, mm. you know, state. It you takes just, the edge it, off, it keeps, right? It keeps you nice. It takes the edge off without alcohol and it doesn't, it's not a DUI kind of drug. If you look it up, you'll see you'll see what it lists it as such. No, so, somebody listening right now, they're like, my grandma needs that. Yeah. <laughs> like they're like, hey, I, I, I like, like one. You at 85, you know? <laughs> I, oh, hope, I hope there's enough time that he can go see a doctor or everything else. If not, probably half a bottle of NyQuil. <laughs> He'll be falling thing. asleep at the interview. Yeah, half drunk and bad, sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Kevin, exactly. you're the best, brother. Hey, thanks, buddy. Yeah, have man, a great day. Soon. Yeah, that's uh, uh, that's definitely iffy. You know what I mean? I think that this is one of those things where I would be so proud of him if he just bucked up the courage, went in there. You got to suck it up. Even if you're a sweaty fool, it is what you are, but you, you got to do it. You got to make this happen. Well, and sometimes you just have to face your fears, you know, and then once you rip the bandaid off, you're like, oh, I've got confidence. I can do this. And if he wants this job, he cannot come clean. That he did not actually do the first interview. Never. He can. Never I know, tell I know him that. Chloe, don't look at me like that. I know honesty is the best policy, no, but he's already passed it. I have to agree with you on that because they definitely will not give him the job, Slater. But which country superstar was running around basically naked on stage, stripped down to pretty much nothing, literally, revealing who it is in six minutes? K-92-3. Two people. One date. Zero texts returned. Second date update. Brought to you by attorney Dan Newland. In a wreck, need a check, Google Dan Newland. I'm talking to Jimmy over in Longwood. And Jimmy, you said that you guys went to a sports bar? Yeah. I'm pretty into um, fantasy football and the draft was going on. So um, this, this spot we went to has like a hundred screens. So <laughs> I was like, yo, let's get up. Let's go. You know, I get to spend time with her see the draft. I hey, like, I don't blame you. Up. I love football season. You, you don't think that that is the reason that the day didn't go? Was she, is she a football fan? She was cool with it. I, I mean, I don't know what happened. To be honest with you, I, I had a great time. I mean, we were there for like hours. At one point, we even got some potato soup and like used the same spoon. And man, and I don't normally get down like that with <laughs> You were sharing the same spoon on what? the first yeah. date? 
double dipped in everything. Like, oh. I was cool with it. Maybe that's oh, it. Uh, bro, <laughs> yeah, maybe you were cool with it. <laughs> she was not. Well, here, we've got Lori's phone number, man. If you don't mind, we're going to give her a call. And how did that happen? What? You were just like, here, do you want to try some? I was like magical. It just felt right. I, I don't know what happened. I mean, she was, I thought she'd had a great time, personally. Okay. All right, let's give her a call next. Hello? Yes, looking for Lori, please. Uh, this is she. Hey, Lori. My name's Obi. That's Chloe. That's Slater. Good morning. Um, I don't know if you uh, know of the morning show, but we work for K92.3. Okay. You said you do? Uh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've listened to you guys before. Okay, okay. So then if you know that, we're, we're trying to get you on a second date. <laughs> With a guy named Jimmy. We have a $75 gift card towards your next uh, date with him, if you're interested. Lori, I'm just going to straight up say, he mentioned something about sharing a bowl of soup in the same spoon. Is that the reason? <laughs> How could that be? Um, I, I have to say I've never done that on any other first dates. It was uh, a little weird, but um, that's not actually the reason. Okay. Something else we said was maybe you're not a football fan, or or maybe you're even rooting for another team since you guys watched the draft together. It's not even that I'm not a football fan. I mean, the date was between him and the draft. Like I didn't even need to be there. Honestly, I think we spoke like three sentences to each other, and one of them was asking if he wanted me to split this bowl of baked potato soup <laughs> which i was like uh i mean okay <laughs> wouldn't have been my first choice but again he was so distracted by the football he wasn't paying attention to I you i think he he just couldn't take his eyes off the tv mm. like we barely spoke to each other and then at one point i asked him a question he didn't even respond and i was like okay i don't need to be here so after like 45 minutes i just got up and left i um, it's surprising to me that even knowing that you were going to a sports bar and that that was going on as a football fan, because it's marked on the calendar, the next eight years, they know which weekend the draft is going to be. Like, <laughs> it's, it's similar to Christmas, where you know when it's going to be yeah. every single year, that you even said yes to it. Why not just wait till another day to do it? I mean, look, I didn't mind watching it. I didn't mind being in that environment, but I thought we were at least, you know, going to talk a little bit. Right. And it, he like barely listened to me or laid eyes on me. And then when I walked out, he high fived me. I think he thought I was like just what? going to the bathroom and then I didn't come back. Honestly, I don't blame you. Thank you. Thank you. you I didn't come that. back. Do you blame her? Over? No, she was like, she wasn't I even there after like 45 minutes. Well, oh. he said hours, didn't he? I mean, he said that you guys hung out for hours. He said that you didn't mind. He that hung he told out you... there for hours. Well, and he said that he told you ahead yeah, of time that exactly. that's what you guys were going to do. Okay, so then this is just a, a misconception as to what you thought the date was going to look like. Can we bring Jimmy on to the line? Hey. <laughs> I didn't know you felt like hey, that. Jimmy. <laughs> I, yeah, I just felt like it wasn't really a, a date. Like, I didn't. you spoke to me as much as you spoke to our server. Whoa. Yeah, but I mean, like, when we had the potato soup, didn't you feel like the magic? Like, it felt like we were getting closer. It felt like we were sharing a spoon. <laughs> That's not the spooning that she thought she was going to be doing. Oh, <laughs> and us guys, man, we're so simple and unaware. Dude, you know, you missed out on a great opportunity to romance her and still be able to get your football watching in. Or, Jimmy, you should have picked just another day. No, it, it hurts. It hurts. Is this thing re lie. really done? <laughs> I mean, they're not doing another draft until the 24th to the 26th of 2025. You're right. You're right. <laughs> like, what happens when football season rolls around too? Oh. I, 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 I'll make time. I'll make time. Okay, you know, okay. like since we're at this point right now, Lori, can we get you to say yes to another date with Jimmy? That's the point of this whole thing. Yeah, I would. I would give it another chance. Oh, awesome. I'll be better. I promise. Hey, okay, hey. it's so a second date. Y'all already shared a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we get our own entrees this time. Wow. Yeah, okay. okay. That's okay. Second date update. Did you miss it? Catch the latest drama on the K-82-3 app. 
That's Sam Hunt on K92.3, Orlando's number one for new country. All right, so we've got more of your money coming up at 10 o'clock. You'll win another $1,000 with a simple keyword to just put into your K92.3 app. Now, can we get to the second date update? Because they went to a bar where there was the NFL draft happening. Um, We were talking about deal breakers because they had shared a potato soup, even using the same spoon. And I'm sorry, I would have been out. I would have been like surely this restaurant has a million spoons that we could have our own or that I could even have my own cup. So, okay, deal breakers around the room really quick before we have people start calling us with their deal breakers. Do you want me to go first? Yeah, go Okay, ahead, mine are the three F. So it's faith, family, and football. For me, if someone has no faith, that's a deal breaker because uh, I'm a very faithful person. Family, obviously, you know my love for my family and I wouldn't be who I am today without them and they are a huge part of my life. If I could spend every waking second with them, I would. And so if I meet someone who doesn't have family in their life, I think that would definitely uh, be a problem. And then football, really just my love for sports. I I love sitting on Sunday, watching the NFL, Saturday, waking up, watching college game day. Football's always been a huge part of my life. And so not that if if they didn't really just weren't into it, that's okay. But if they're like, no, I just don't like the game of football, then that is a problem. That would be a deal breaker. Big problem, <laughs> yes. Mean, that's probably because you and your dad used to watch it as well growing up, right? Totally. I, I mean, that was that. always what was on. Yeah. And they say that. They say usually that the girls look for somebody that has similar qualities, qualities. over their dad, right? Yeah. And the same thing, like us guys look at things that mom has. So, okay, uh, deal breaker for me, if you're not willing to share a spoon, I'm not. <laughs> no, in, in reality, Here we go. you have to be able to laugh. And I say that because there are some people, I look at life, and this is probably the most serious take that I can get with it, so that way we can understand. Life can be either a tragedy or a comedy. And if you are not laughing, then life is going to be way too serious. Think about whatever happens in your day. We all, at the end of the day, have stuff that we can, let's be honest, bitch about, right? Complain and go, this Mm -hmm. is really awful. But if you can find a little bit of what sitcoms in the the 80s and 90s that I love, they would take a day and there would be really funny moments that happened. And there's a really funny moment in every single one of our days. You just got to actually look at it and go, you know what? That's a crazy thing. You get a flat tire. Yeah, that's terrible. But the crazy thing about how, yeah, you're stuck on the side of the road. So like, isn't that a sign that, hey, maybe we should slow down and there's life lessons. So I try to laugh at everything. Okay. What do you okay. like, Obi? I think, uh, well, I mean, you know, my wife and I have been together for a long time. So, I mean, I haven't had to think of these for a long time, mm-hmm. but I remember past relationships before her. That's where my mind had to go. And uh, I remember dating one girl who smoked cigarettes. Mm-hmm. And, oh. and as attractive as she was, every single time we kissed or every single time I got into her car or every single time we, we went anywhere, I, it, it lingered. And I just remember being like, I can't do this, man. Like, I mean, I, I I really enjoy our time together, but I also think that there's a cigarette butt somewhere in your in your dress or something. I can smell it. Did you tell her that that was the reason that you were breaking up? No. Oh, so she didn't no. know. You okay. know, when you're young, you it's me. I'm the problem. I'm the problem. Well, no, you, know, you can say that at any age yeah. when you don't want to be honest with the person. It's like, mm, it's not because you smell like the worst smell that's ever been. <laughs> well, and, and Slater, you brought up a, a point a little earlier, which this is a completely different conversation, which is when you marry somebody or you get together with somebody who is the complete opposite of you. Mm-hmm. And uh, that is my wife. My wife, there are a lot of things that she loves that I don't, but for some reason we are perfect because she picks up where I lack. And she does doesn't smoke. And she doesn't, <laughs> and she doesn't smoke. Yeah. That's also really important. Oh, my Lord. All right. Can, can we call a family meeting? Because Slater's got some stuff going on. Yeah, there is a new trend my five-year-old taught me that includes kids ripping their teeth out of their own mouths mm. for a reason that she explained that to me. Just, I, I want to share with you next. Trend. This is K92.3, Orlando's number one for new country. It is Obi, Chloe, Slater. We are calling a family meeting. And just to catch you up to date, we're probably around 20 minutes away from you getting those Luke Combs tickets. But Slater, I'll let you pick this up. Okay, so my daughter Olivia, this past year, she lost her first tooth. Her first, first, her first, first, her first tooth. I'm still learning how to talk with mine. <laughs> so, so she, she's starting to lose them. And like at first, it was really sweet, and I was thankful that the first one I was actually there for. Since I have 50 percent custody of my daughter, some of the teeth I'm not actually there to see fall out. Right. I noticed that after the first one, the second and third, 
I was not around when she lost those. I was told that they fell out, and they fell out in back-to-back days. Were they loose? Uh, not to my knowledge, the week before. So I was like, huh. And then last week, after the bring your child to work day, she lost a tooth, and the next day she lost another one. Jeez. And I sat her down, and I said, what's, what's happening here? And she said, oh, um, Kate, one of her best friends at school, apparently said, you're supposed to just rip them out of your face. So she is taking teeth that are barely wiggly and ripping them out of her There's face. There's no way she's got that kind of force, bro. Okay. She's five. So it has to hurt. Here's what it is. I couldn't pull one of mine out if I tried. Well, you have adult teeth, Obi. Like <laughs> you're not loose. Muscles. I also have adult up. muscles too, bro. Yeah. Like I mean, <laughs> okay, go ahead. Continue. So, so I think what she's doing is because in the next couple weeks, three of her best friends at school, it's their birthdays, and I think she's trying to take the tooth fairy money mm. to pay for, for gifts, gifts. Wow. for her friends. How much money is the tooth fairy leaving? So it depends, I guess. I don't. I the tooth fairy changes stuff up all the time. I guess if it's a front teeth. Those are worth more, and really? also if they're brushed, which I, I totally endorse that, right? If it's a clean, <laughs> clean tooth, I I would imagine the tooth fairy would actually pony up some more cabbage, right? Oh, yeah, so you boring. think she's pulling them out because the tooth fairy is leaving all this great money, and so I am the po- more she pulls, the I more money positive, she gets. But I don't think it's her. I think it's Kate. I think it's Asher. I think it's Lily. I think hey, it's hey, all these hey. people. I'm Those bl- are good kids, man. Whatever, They're just I'm going through them. something. No, I think they want incredibly nice gifts from Olivia, and they know the only way that's going to get it, because she doesn't have a job yet, is by ripping her <laughs> own teeth own, from her own oh, head. Geez. Well, okay, so here's what you got to do, okay? I, I don't know how you're going to handle the the, the the money scenario, but what you have to do is you have to tell Olivia that she cannot follow her friends, because what if those young kids start smoking cigarettes or start right. uh, you know, start gambling at oh, a young at age? five years old, really? That's, that's, that's you know, when you start. Uh, the apps that they make for these kids. <laughs> kids these days i mean uh, yeah, might as well be gambling so, apps how many two tooths how many te- <laughs> See, no, hey, <laughs> what is going on you guys <laughs> how many teeth are gone there's one at the bottom completely blown out and they, it almost reminds me of the carnival games you know when you get the the shooter and the ball shooter <laughs> yeah, and you, you blow gotta, the it, clown's teeth out yeah so she's got no top teeth a, at all so 30 dollars. i look right there and i'm like those kids are those kids are not going to get anything. Like, I'm not going to allow her to spend that tooth money on these hooligans that are just clearly, <laughs> clearly bad influences. And like you're saying, Obi, like, now I'm going to actually have to look in and make sure that her tablet doesn't have some some like do game it, betting app. Do an investigation. Chloe, when, when, was, uh, when, uh, when did you lose your last tooth, Chloe? Oh, goodness. Probably fourth grade? Fourth Third, grade. fourth grade? It's 10 years ago. Ten years ago. Now, how old are you? <laughs> Ten years ago. You, you look like you just straight. You got all your teeth now. Yes, I have that's all good. my teeth. Yes, that's guys, good. I, I do. don't know. Just watch out for your kids. And if they rip a tooth clear out, just know it's this is like this, a new pandemic that we're gonna no have to way. go through. I don't know. I think they're loose. Don't let them. <laughs> okay. Obi, Chloe, and Slater. K ninety two three. Orlando's number one for new country. Hey guys, time to get in on the action for the biggest moments in basketball with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projections, place your entry, and win up to 100 times your money. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit of up to $100. Just download the Prize Picks app and use the code GET100. That's code GET100 on Prize Picks for a first deposit match of up to $100. Prize Picks, pick more, pick less. It's that easy.